Hello, my name is Bonnie Meyer, and I'm going to tell you a story about George Adamscape. He has written many, many books. He was born in 1891, came to the United States when he was two years old. His family was very poor, so he did not have much education. He had to go to work very early. He did serve in the military, and he did uh, retire from there. George saw what he thought was a city on the moon in 1938, uh, but he couldn't get a picture of it. So uh, he was given a telescope, six inch telescope, by one of his students. And uh, he could then see many craft in the sky, but he could not get a good picture of it. It took him quite a while to figure out if he took a camera and tied it to the telescope, he could then get a very good picture. And this is a picture taken of the moon and six crafts that was seen near it. And this is a cigar-shaped spacecraft taken in 1951. And he took four pictures very quickly, one after the other. And as you can see, the scout crafts came out of it. And many of the photographs that George Adamski took were very, very well had been taken through the telescope. And these photos were so clear that many be people believe that they are faked. And this one was taken in December 13, 1952, and you can see the windows on it and everything. And a lot of people have said that this was a top to a garbage can or a brooder. And I'm sorry, but this is so clear. It cannot be mistaken for these types of things. In 1952, George was, uh, had this feeling that he should go out into the desert. He thought he would get to see an alien at that time. And he went out with some friends, one of them a doctor of anthropology, and one was an artist, a female, and some other people. Ship came down, and Orthon came out of it. And uh, the woman was an artist, and she drew this of him. George got to see Orathon and he uh, talked for quite a while and uh, this is a photo taken by a brownie camera which was very popular at that time and you can see where the arrow is that's the ship taking off and after the ship took off they went and looked where the ship was and there was footprints and they took a plaster cast of these footprints uh, by this time, George was getting t feelings that he should leave his uh, house up in the hills in California, go into town, and there he met different aliens. And one time he met the aliens and they took him back out in the desert and they took him to a trip to Venus. It took 14 hours of traveling and the Venetians looked very human. And it was amazing to him that they talked about uh, death, reincarnation, how it was just like moving from one house to another. And they looked so much like us that they could walk amongst us and not be known. And this is a Venetian spacecraft. What I liked about George is he remembered very, very minute detail that he could talk to people about and they could draw what he had actually seen. And then uh, one time he went into town and he met some more aliens and they took him on a trip to the moon. He got to be about 5,000 feet uh, above the moon and there he saw people on the moon. And he was told that these people come from many different planets and that uh, it is uh, like a place where many different species come and visit. Another time, he met some aliens and they took him on a trip to Saturn. Now Saturn takes 18 hours to get to. And there he was taken to a conference. And at that conference he was told that uh, we are going in the wrong direction. <coughs> that with the atomic blasting, that that would affect our uh, volcanoes, uh, it would cause earthquakes, and that many planets 
over the centuries have found atomic weapons, and that is the wrong direction to go into. So they were very uh, happy to have them. They took them around the planet, showed them their homes and some of the cities. Uh, they took them for a ride in a vehicle. And uh, he, when he came back, he had a hard time readjusting to Earth because there was a little difference in the atmosphere and um, it wasn't quite as heavy as Earth is. And this is the Saturn Scout passenger section. And this was the little ship that they used to go down onto the planet. And again, notice the detail that he has been able to give. And this is a Saturn laboratory spacecraft. He went on a trip to this one time. And he asked them, what, what do you need a laboratory here around the planet? And they said, well, we're here and we're checking on your atmosphere because we want to check uh, to see what your weather is like. We want to check and see um, what your air is like because uh, with your atomic blasting and you're not uh, doing the correct way of farming. You are using chemicals and things and that upsets nature. And when you upset nature, you get into trouble. And George has written quite a few books and uh, these are some of them. And uh, this was given to George uh, in 1952 and it's writings from another planet. And scientists have been trying to figure out what this has said, but they haven't been able to do that so far. This is another, this is a book in paperback. And uh, he's a very prolific writer. That's what I like about him. What he learned, he put on paper. And this is a science of life study course. And I was lucky to do this whole study course, and it really helped me realize how everything is intertwined. When one thing gets out of balance, it's like a domino effect, and it just keeps going on forever and ever. And uh, George also wrote a course on telepathy, and I really enjoyed this. It's a study on the principles, and tele telepathy is a universal language, and I personally have found out that the aliens do use this, and it's much simpler than speaking words because telepathy is like pictures in your mind and you can't mistake what people are trying to say, or aliens for that matter. And uh, George died in 1965, and just before his death he took an eight millimeter film of a UFO. And this is Above Top Secret by Timothy Good, and in it he explains that he believes that this was authentic film. And it's kind of nice to see someone uh, modern uh, say that he believes that what he did was true. And I would like to say that. These books are out of print of, that George Adamski did. But if you look on the internet, if you go to use bookstores, you probably could find them. And George was asked to share his information that he received from the aliens. And he did share with some of the governments of the world. He shared it with some of the churches. And anyone who listened, he went on a world tour with what he had found out. And the aliens had told him, please do this, but you know, you're going to be laughed at and people are going to scoff at you. So please don't let it bother you. This information must get out. And he decided that, yes, he would go and talk about it no matter what happened. And there were lectures that things were thrown at him and everything. And many of the lectures were disrupted. And I would like to say that the truth is out there, but it's up to each individual to find it. And I hope you go out, search, and find your own truth. Thank you.